in this video we're going to focus on how we can create a hoover effect here where it will nicely jump or expand the item but we will not have an issue here with the so-called clipping or cut out uh, section of our slides so this is a very useful item because very commonly if you do this you usually have a part that will be cut away and in here we're going to show exactly how we can avoid this in this video we're going to answer one of the viewers question which is how to make a pie chart slice stand out on hoover in chart.js so this question came from one of my other videos about how to create a on-click event bar chart in chart.js and in here although the question was not exactly identical it did cover certain items so this, will, uh, this question came from Rishab Jain. A special thank you to Rishab for asking the question. And this is what Rishab asks. Hi, can you make a video on how to fade slices of a donut chart on click of a slice of donut chart or to expand the outer radius of the donut chart and when the outer radius is increased, the slice should be 100% visible. It should not be cut out by the canvas. So. What you're talking about here, a cut out is what we call clipping. So let me start and explore this. What we're going to do here, because basically this question is multiple. We have one with Hoover, you have one with Click, you have also uh, different effects in here. So what I would do here is I'm going to create a very simple one based on making a pie pie chart slice stand out or expand, and then based on Hoover. And we want to avoid the so-called clipping or cut out effect. So to do this, what we need to do first is we have to go to chartjs3.com, getting started to get the default code. And for some reason, my Google Chrome gives an error here. So why? I don't know. On Firefox, it's all fine. And on my other laptop as well. So if I scroll down here, what I want to do here, I want to copy this entire code here. Once I copy this code, and if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific JavaScript file per video. who explains it all. So we're going to paste it all in our HTML file and then I'm going to cut out this or change the title to that, save this and refresh. So now we have a nice uh, bar chart here, but we want a pie chart. So what I'm going to do here, because the pie chart will expand the width of the chart or the height of the chart, we want to reduce this because it will become a square. So in here, I'm going to say pie. Then if I save this, I'm going to well, we can refresh this and there you are. So we have now a nice square, but there is an issue here. We want to remove these scales here because we, a, a pie chart doesn't have any scales. So we're going to remove this. If I save this now, refresh, there we are. So this works nice. So what we want to do here is basically, and this is the real issue here, is basically called the offset. So if you have an offset of 10 pixels and I save this, what will happen is you can see here, they're all individually jumping out. And this is still fine because you see it's not being clipped off. However, we have another one. It's called the Hoover Offset, where we want to have this with capital O, where the offset will respawn. So basically, so the item will stand out, or the slice will jump or stand out the moment we hoover so you can see here this is all fine but then look at this here i'm not sure if you're able to see it clearly let's uh give the blue one a higher value let's make this um, 25 save that so there you are and now you might see here you can see clearly that it's being clipped out this is basically what uh was referring to if it will cut out of the canvas so how do we solve this because this here is all fine but how do we solve this issue well we, what we need to do here, first of all, is to look at this. We have this Hoover offset here. We understand that this is a, a uh, extra 10 pixels. The reason why it cuts out is basically, let's open up here our developer tab and then use the inspector. You can see here the line is exactly, the pie chart circle hits exactly the bottom of the canvas. So the moment it jumps, it makes sense it is starting to cut out. How can we solve this? Well, very simple. We go here into the options. And in the options, all we want to say here is the layout. And then in the layout, all we want to do here is indicate a padding. And we can do a padding by saying default. 
10 pixels or let's say here maybe 15 pixels make it at least a little bit bigger than the 10 pixels here so if we save this refresh now you can see the chart is slightly smaller and if you hover over it it doesn't clip anymore a part of the item so that's very important that's the layout here but maybe you might say well hold on we have this here but it has padding left right top and bottom we only want to have the bottom that has a padding which is correct so we can do this as well we can just pinpoint specifically the following we can say here bottom so we say only the bottom will have a padding of 15 pixels and everything else will be left originally so you can see here now just on the bottom and if i use here the inspector we have here a 15 pixel extra space so it's no problem there you are and if we do this here maybe we could do here who will offset let's make this 20 pixels let's see what happened of course then probably will be cut out or not even a little bit only or nothing at all so i guess we have here quite a space but if we do 25 refresh here not even i guess we can do here let's say uh, 40 and at that very moment we lose a very tiny bit of it if we do this 35 most likely we could even maintain there you are so there we are and of course if any other items and here maybe you might say oh hold on like this i don't like this as well you can see it's clipping or it's overlapping this horrible we can do the same here we can say cop comma top 15 pixels so we have extra padding on top no oh, i guess we should have a higher padding amount um well maybe oh i guess that that will probably not work because the padding is based on that so that's not working sorry about that that will not work of course because the legend and the item here have slightly different structure although of course i don't expect you to have a 35 pixel hovering if you do 15 probably that would be very acceptable here there you are so this is basically how you can do it very simple with this and i will make some other videos as well covering your other questions with on click and uh, with uh, fading the item as well